Hi, grade five, how are you? I want from you to prepare your worksheet number two and to take a look at pages 11 to 14 because we are going to start solving them together. By the way, we miss you a lot. Let me take, let me start now solving page 11. In page 11, I want from you to write the ratio that represents the following and to convert this ratio into a fraction. What is the ratio of books to pens? Make sure to use the same order, books to pens. The ratio is, we are going to count the number of books, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the ratio is 6 to 5. And to convert it into fraction, it's going to be 6 out of 5. Pumpkins to cabbage. I first, I need to write them in words. Pumpkins to cabbage. Second one, I need to write the ratio of pumpkins to cabbage. How many pumpkins I have? I have two pumpkins. Two cabbage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 2 to 7. And the fraction is 2 out of 7. Please complete the rest of the page using the same way. Here I want to find the ratio, then simplify the ratio. What is the ratio of star to circle? I'm going to count the stars and the circles and the ratio will be 36 to 18. To simplify the ratio, we are going to divide it by the highest common factor. What is the highest common factor between 36 and 18? It's 18. So the ratio is 2 to 1. Now, what is the ratio of the circles to both circles and stars? Circles are 18. So 18 to 36 plus 18 is 54. What is the common between 18 and 54? It's also 18. So the ratio is 1 to 3. Triangles to hearts. Triangles are 28 and the hearts are 42, so 28 to 42. What is the common between 28 and 42? Actually, it's 14. So, divide by 14, divide by 14, it's going to be 2 to 3. Hearts to both triangle and heart, so 42 to what? To 70. What is the common? It's also 14 and it's going to be 3, 2, 5. Now it's easy for you to complete the rest of the page. Move on. Page 13. In page 13 we have two questions. The first one is to find the missing number in order to make both ratios are equivalent. And second one is solving word problem. Let me start to help you find the equivalent ratio. 72 to 64, it's equal to 9 to something. How the 72 become 9? It's divided by what? It's divided by 8. So 64 divided by 8 is going to be what? 8. 2 to 6, how the 2 become 14? It's become 14 by multiplying the 2 by 7. So 2 by 7 is 14, 6 by 7 is 42. Now, something to 7 equal 8 to 14. 7 become 14. What is the number that it become 8? First of all, how the 7 become 14? 7 become 14 by timing it by 2. So what is the number that I'm going to time it by 2 to get 8? It's 4. 32 to what equal 12 to what? For to 24. Actually, there is no relation between 32 and 12. So we are going to simplify this one, 12 to 24. It will become 1 to 2. So how can I make 32, 1 divided by 32? How we can make the 2 from the multiples of 32 by timing it by 32. So 2 times 32 is going to be 64. Complete the rest of the question using the same way. Solve the following word problems. 
A classroom has 35 glue sticks. If the ratio of the glue stick to the glue bottle was 5 to 2, how many glue bottles did the classroom have? Actually, glue stick to the glue bottle is 5 to 2. The 5 to 2 become 35 to something. How the 5 become 35? We are going to time it by 7. So, 2 times 7 going to be what? 14. So, the class have 14 glue bottles. You can complete the rest of the word problem using the same method. Thank you.